Hey guys, Laura here from What Laura Likes. So today we are going to be talking about the catechism, the catechism of the Catholic Church. There are actually quite a few catechisms dating from way back when to fairly recently. So let's talk about the pros and cons of each one and hopefully help you select one that you or you and your children can enjoy together so that you can deepen your faith because we are tasked to know God, love God, and do God's will. And knowing it comes first. We can't love what we don't know. And so thank you, Father Altman. I'll put his video down below for giving an amazing homily on this very topic, inspiring this video. I get asked a lot about how to teach your children the faith or how to deepen your own faith. This is one of the primary ways to do it. So without further ado, Let's get started. I'm just gonna randomly grab them in whatever order I have them. So this is the catechism that you will see in most churches um, around the country, at least in the United States. And this is the most recent catechism put together by St. Pope John Paul II. So, you know, a saint wrote this, kind of a big deal. So this is probably one of the hardest catechisms, it is the hardest catechism out of all the catechisms I have to read. This thing is a beast. And the reason it's so big is because it's incredibly thorough. There are church teachings, saint quotes, Bible scripture, like all mixed in. And so this is a great resource and I do think that every household should have this guy or the little tiny version. I had to say when I first went through my reversion, I bought this guy. I do not suggest this version of the catechism. I know you guys can't really see that because of the lighting, but it is incredibly hard to open and lay flat. It doesn't lay flat and it's hard to study from. For all those who asked for some kind of video from me regarding um, vocab, this has a lot of vocab in it that can help you get started. The issue with this book is that it has different levels of authority. So there's primary sources of authority like Holy Scripture, and then you have secondary sources like the saints, and if you don't understand this hierarchy of sources, you may get confused as to what's contained in here. So just something to keep in mind. I also have this beautiful copy that one of my viewers sent me, so thank you, of the Catechism of the Council of Trent. So we know that this was written in response to the Reformation, and What's really beautiful about this catechism is that it um, is written in more of a prose situation versus kind of lots of different sites and, and snippets. So you can sit down and read this. It's not a book, but it's written in paragraph form. And so you can see that if you wanted something that was more written in full sentences and then this is like, this is what you'd want. Plus you can't go wrong with anything from the council trend. So then let's jump in history again to St. Pope Pius X. If you guys have watched my rant video about catechesis, and I'll stick it up there. Um, when I first discovered this catechism, I was floored. It is so easy to read and it is so, you can sit down in one week and read this whole thing and understand so much more catechesis than you ever got as a child if you're from my generation. It's, just, it's so good. And it, so it's just question and answer. Same with like the Baltimore Catechism, which we'll talk about in a minute. Most catechisms are question and answer. And this one was specifically written by St. Pope Pius X for the laity. And so it's nice because it, you can keep that in mind. The only issue with this catechism is that a couple of the teachings are no longer teachings of the church. Um, I think he mentions limbo in here for aborted babies and the church um, doesn't teach that, we hope, and I think it makes sense, I've talked about this in other videos, that children that are aborted or die before baptism still go to heaven because it's no fault of their own and it doesn't seem very just, especially when God is also mercy, to have all these babies in this place where they never get to be in his presence he who made them. So that's my take on limbo. I know people can disagree with me and that's okay. Also it talks about like really frequent confession and the church, depending on where you are, goes back and forth on how frequent you need to go to confession. But there's a whole section on the Trinity, the whole section on the Holy Spirit. Um, of course, all of the different um, sacraments are in here. There's a whole section on virtues and vices and then all the commandments. So it's, and I have to say, this was not very expensive. It's just, it's tiny. So compared to 
I like to compare it to this guy. Let's see, which one do you want to like sit down and read? So if you want to know your faith in a nutshell, like this one is very hefty and We'll do the job. So then let's talk about some uh, some options for your kiddos. So the next three are definitely all ones you can use for yourself or your kids. Don't think just because it's a child's catechism that it's not okay for you because honestly, if you don't know much about your faith or you wanna know more, children's options are great. They're approachable. This one has pictures. And so it's just up to you like where you are in your walk. I have to say I learned a lot about salvation history by reading my kids their children's Bible. So. Okay, so the Baltimore Catechism, this is number one, 1885. So we're getting, we're going back. And so the way this is written is they have some prayers in here that you want to memorize, which we're working on it. And then lesson one, on the end of man. So the questions we're working on for me and the kids, who made the world? God made the world. And you want your kids to memorize, and you yourself, to memorize these in, in full sentences. Who is God? God is the creator of heaven and earth and of all things. What is man? Man is a creature composed of body and soul and made in the image and likeness of God. Why did God make you? God made me to know him, to love him, and to serve him in this world and to be happy with him forever in heaven. And then the new St. Joseph Baltimore Catechism, this is number two, this is for um, like middle school age. The nice thing about this version of which is pretty much this version of this it's the newer version of this and this is i'm going to try i'm trying to figure out when this was written um 1962 so it's that that year that 1962 year so you know it's just whether or not you want to but there is a lot of really orthodox stuff in here and the cool thing is there's pictures so it's um it's really nice like even my husband would be like, oh pictures some of these pictures really get you and they really stay in your mind like the one pathway to heaven and the four pathways to hell so these are really great like i said you find the one that's specific for your child's age and you just can't go wrong with those finally this was an investment but i love this book i don't know if i've talked about it yet to you guys it's called my fat catholic faith a catechism in pictures and this one is from 1949 so we're getting more you know pre-vatican II here and one of my viewers suggested this and this is really lovely for kids my daughter is nine and she will sit down with this book and read it the layout for this book as you can see is there's every lesson is two page as a two page span and there's a beautiful image and then um it goes through the questions so if you sat down with this and you read a lesson a day you would be again so well set up let me see there is a hundred and ninety three lessons so in a little over half a year you would be so well versed in our faith along with bible verses i would love to know down below what your favorite catechism is what you what is your go-to if you are not catholic and you're watching this and you're not sure if you want to purchase something the usccb has the the green catechism online for free so i will link that down below so it would be this big guy here i will put a link down to my amazon bookstore and i will make a amazon list of all of these catechisms so that you can look through them and if you want to buy one hopefully this was a helpful video and i will talk to you guys really soon continue to know god love god and do god's will and with that have a very beautiful day bye <music>